Traditional modeling workflows require a lot of work that goes into topology and the flow of edges and polygons. This method has its advantages, but not all the time. Today we're going to take a look at an exciting hard surface modeling tool that modelers can use to speed up their workflow and become more efficient. So how to use the add-on? To access all the grid modeler functionalities, you need to select your object and then jump to edit mode. After that, you will have four cases that you can use the grid modeler with, including face selection, vertex selection, and when not selecting anything. In face mode, you select a face or multiple coplanar faces, which basically means all the selected faces should have the same normal orientation. Right click on the face to open the face context menu and select the grid modeler at the very bottom. In edge mode, you select an edge, start grid modeler, your grid plane will be on the normal of the edge. That's 45 degrees on top of your selected edge, which will make boolean cutting into an edge really easy. In vertex mode, you select one or multiple vertices. The grid will be oriented based on the number and the orientation of the vertices you selected. If you select nothing and run the grid modeler, it will use the view plan to line up your grid. This is useful if you want to cut your model with a different angle, but it is recommended to stick with the defined views while using the mode, for example, top view or side view. After that, a grid will be overlaid on top of the selected faces and all the shortcuts and functionalities will be listed on the left side of your screen. This is really helpful when you start working with the add-on, but you can always hide the hints if you want to do that in the settings panel. You can also control the subdivision of your grid by holding down control and scroll the mouse's wheel up and down to increase or decrease the grid subdivisions respectively. You can enlarge the grid by holding Alt plus the mouse wheel. This will allow you to resize the whole grid even bigger than the face. You can change the grid alignment and it will align the whole grid plane to the edge. When you draw, you can use the circle tool with C to draw different shapes such as triangles, rectangles, hexagons, and so on. And you can always hit H on the keyboard to see the full help instructions and detailed explanations on every shortcut, in addition to the functionalities available within the add-on. You can switch the selection mode by clicking the right mouse button or pressing W on the keyboard. Selection mode will allow you to move, rotate, duplicate, and delete shapes, and you can select multiple shapes using the box select, and you can area duplicate shapes using D from the keyboard. While in edit shape mode, to customize shapes even further, grid modeler allows you while in selection mode to dive deeper into control individual vertices. By pressing E, you can enter the edit shape mode and this will allow you to manipulate individual points. You can move, fill, add additional vertices or apply bevel to selected vertices. To confirm and exit the edit shape mode, just press E. Once you are happy with the shapes you want, you can now commit by choosing one of the many different operations by pressing the numbers 1 to 6 or 0 on the keyboard. After choosing the operation, you can still customize the effect by using the adjust last operation panel on the bottom left, or you can choose different operations like setting the depth of the offset among other things. If you are interested in learning more about Blender, then I recommend you try Skillshare. It is a learning platform that has thousands of classes on a variety of different topics. And you can find a lot of classes about Blender that can help you do that step by step. For example, this class called Blender 3D, your first 3D animation, in which you will learn rigging and animation in 3D as a beginner. This course will cover skills traditionally used in animation, motion design, and video game design. If you are a beginner or someone who has a bit of experience with Blender, then this course is going to be definitely for you. The first 1000 people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Overall, Grid Modeler is a powerful Boolean based hard surface modeling tool if topology is not a priority for you and your objects are not going to be animated. Also, for more in-depth information about the add-on, you can read the add-on's documentation. And you can find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.